we try to uh, really think deeply about uh, difficult problems in, in biology and in my case in ecology and um, use this whole new set of tools to gain insight and to suggest solutions. One of the things I've been working on for many decades is, is uh, animal movement. It's really a wonderful time right now in this area because uh, you can put uh, radio collars on animals and track them by GPS. And so if you're interested in, say, how wolves move in Alberta or what the effect of um, development, uh, things like linear features from oil and gas exploration, how they're affecting wolf movement and how quickly they find their prey, you can actually track them via satellite. And uh, then you put all the information into a, a mathematical and computer model and see how the different changes in the environment are affecting the way they move. I am working on uh, with a larger group called TRIA on modeling mountain pine beetle and its dynamics as it spreads across North America into Alberta. I'm trying to understand uh, how it spreads, where it spreads, and how quickly it spreads. And I've been involved a little bit collaborating with Andy DeRoche, looking at the effect of changing ice conditions on polar bear reproduction. And so it's the time right now that's really exciting because we can sort of uh, gain new insight, uh, solve problems that people couldn't solve before because we're putting mathematics to biology.